Official Rust is a harsh environment known for its large zergs and high population. And playing as a solo may just seem even harder. But if you follow my guide on playing solo on an official, you may find that playing solo can be easier than playing in a group. Before you learn how it is possible, I will tell you exactly why. When raiding, the average Rust player is either looking for loot or revenge. And as a solo, it often doesn't appear that you have much loot, even though that is not the case. The second reason is that it is way easier to stay hidden as a solo. And if they don't know that you exist, well, then they won't raid you, right? Now I am quickly going to give you an overview of the themes that we will discuss in this video. Probably the most important step is the base location. After that I will show you how to stay hidden. The next step is choosing your base design. And at the end I am going to give you some general advice about how to play as a solo. Let's start with the base location. First of all, if you are a solo on an official, you have to build in the snow because the only other enemies you will encounter are other solos, small groups so it's fair game, or farmers which are probably farming by their own too. You won't encounter any high tier players because the code is a pain if you are wearing road sign or metal armor. Next up, you have to get your scraps somehow, so you need to build close to some monuments. Keycards puzzles are essential to farming scrap, so you need to build close to a green and a blue card monument. For these I recommend sewer branch and water treatment, but any others will do fine. Staying hidden is extremely important as a solo, and I'll tell you exactly how. First of all, every fight that you don't take is a fight that you won. What that means is that it's very important to choose what fights you get into, so only go for it if you're 100% sure that you won't die. The next step is to never let anyone know your base location. So if you kill a guy next to your base, even if it's a naked, then don't run straight into your base. Just wait a bit until he's fully dead and then enter your base. Following this step will prevent you from one of the reasons that you often get raided for, and that is as already talked about, the revenge. This can be quite confusing, but the next tip is not to build in the perfect location. Because you're not the only one that wants to build there, so you're going to encounter a lot more people than necessary. Just choose a location with a green and a blue cut monument nearby that doesn't look as attractive at first glance, but is actually pretty solid. The last tip brings us right to the next step, and that is the choice of a base design. As a solo, you're not allowed to build a large base because it makes you a raid target for Zergs. So choose a small but safe and effective base design that has a fairly low build cost that can last a wipe. To find such bases I simply recommend typing a Rust solo base design and choosing one that suits you. Now that you have made it to the end I'm gonna give you some advice to help you with your solo journey. Every time you go out you should have a clear goal in your mind because it helps you get into way less fights. Now the next tip is to grab a lot, because it's an easy way to acquire high tier loot with a low risk, so the double barrel is your best friend from now on. With the knowledge that you have gained with this video you should have no problem playing as a solo on a for sure. If you want to help me out then I would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed. That's it from me, see you in the next video.